Hey everybody, KP68 here. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about why being audio transmit, uh, some basic principles. Uh, there's a lot of ways to do this. Uh, everybody has their own way, but I, don't know, I just thought I'd share uh, how I do it. I've had a lot of su success doing it and figured I'd just pass along some information. Uh, I just want to start by saying again, I don't have anything to sell. I have nothing to promote. I'm just a guy up here doing what I love to do. I just want to uh, share my experiences. But All right, I'm going to be talking. It's very important to remember anything that I talk about now. It's going to have to do with your standard CB radio. Um, I'm not talking about any kind of ham radio or any high-end high -end radios. Those radios are more than likely already able to, to pass a wide audio bandwidth. Uh, again, the standard CB radio. Um, the most standard CB radios, if you look at their transmitted frequency response, you're looking at about 300 hertz to 3 kilohertz of, of audio bandwidth. Now, I've heard some guys talking out there on the air. Uh, a guy asked me not uh, just recently, and I said, boy, uh, what are you doing up there? I, I like to get my audio sound like yours, but no matter what I try, um, I just I can't get any results. But even when I, even when I started, I was in the same boat. I was, I was trying, trying, trying. I, I just couldn't figure out what was going on. Um, I think what's happening here. Some a lot of these guys out there. At least this is what I did when I started. I was applying my audio uh, right to the mic socket here. All right. So I had this beautiful Y B and audio coming into the mic. All right. No. So what was happening here? Your audio. You can trace the audio path through. It comes in here. By the time it goes through all your associated components, makes it through your audio chip, and then I'll, by the time that why beautiful sounding audio reaches your final stages, it becomes all filtered out, and that's that's by design. The radio manufacturers do it on a purpose. I'm not going to get into the reasons why, but it, that is by design. So once again, you can have your the most awesome sound and audio. You can have your awesome mic your $500 mic your uh, your rack full of this audio gear or, or pro tools or what have you and by the time it comes out the end you're gonna sound like a normal CB radio all right like I said uh, most standard CB radios are 300 Hertz to 3 kilohertz uh, wide audio bandwidth and we're gonna go over here and look at my rack gear uh, to uh, give you an illustration of how, how narrow that is this is my one of my 31 B&D Q's all right now I've never run it this way, but I just did this to uh, give an illustration how narrow banded that is. All right, here's about 300 hertz. Up to here is three kilohertz. That's all that radio is going to pass. All right, so you can have this 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 much wide audio coming in, all these nice wonderful frequencies coming in and coming out. All that is going to be filtered out. The radio is going to chop all that off. Now they say uh, cut off is. Uh, 300 and a 3k now the cutoff they really don't mean it gets cut off it realistically uh, radios will start to roll off so you'll get uh yeah, something like that some radios will have a, a shallower cutoff some radios may, radios may even have a more, more steep uh, cutoff but either way that's what you're looking at that that real narrow uh audio bandwidth that's why cb radios sound like cb radios it's a very 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 narrow bandwidth right there all right, coming back over to here. Uh, during transmit, fundamentally two things happen. Only two things happen during transmit, broken down. Number one, the radio creates uh, your carrier fre carry frequency, a locked-on phase-lock loop carry frequency. And number two, it, it adds audio. It adds audio to that carrier. All right? So what we're going to do here, we're going to eliminate, completely eliminate any and all audio aspects of, of, of the radio. All right? And then we're going to let the radio do what it does best and generate that carrier frequency. So if you're on channel 20, that radio is going to be generating 27.2050 uh, megacycles locked on. The radio does that very well. It does the audio terribly. So we're going we're gonna to eliminate all that. All right, so let's uh, start off. We're going to trace this signal path right here. This, uh, I believe this is the old, uh, old style audio chip, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what kind of audio chip is in here. The signal path is all the same. Uh, i got to mention, this is a Cobra 25 LTD schematic. And uh, the, the uh, Cobra 29 LTD signal path from the audio chip is, is identical. All right. Uh, again, this is a high-level modulated radio. I should have mentioned that before. This is for high-level modulated radios in which uh, the, the uh, modulation is, is uh, created at the final stages. Uh, so we're going to trace this audio path right here coming out of the audio chip. Here's your audio transformer for your speakers. Your audio path is going to come down through here. Trace it through here. All the way out to the collectors of your driver. 
the clicker of the driver and clicker of the final right there. All right, so to do this, what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut this trace. We're gonna cut that trace right there. Now, when we cut that trace, we, we, we cut the umbilical cord, we, we wipe the slate clean. All right, now, since we're not gonna be uh, using any of the audio properties of, of, of the radio, we're gonna have to come up with a means of creating our own audio, and now we're gonna have to have a means of coupling that audio to the radio, and also we're gonna have to have a means of regulating or controlling a voltage for our carrier control. All right, I'll cover that in my, in, in my uh, next video. I'm gonna break this up in a couple of videos. Once again, we're gonna cut that trace. Uh, real quick, this is the Cobra 25 LTD. I can zoom in real here. Right there. That's where that trace needs to be cut. Now be careful, if you cut that trace, if you drill through, make sure you're gonna like, hit any components on, either, in, on the opposite side. I would actually do it back here. Um, I don't know why I actually did it there, but you're gonna cut that trace. That trace right here, this right here. Okay, I'll give you a shot of that in case you're ever interested in doing it. All right, and I'll even do the uh, Cobra 29. Like I said, Cobra 25 and Cobra 20 million LTD, almost identical. Uh, well, I are identical, that audio path. Cobra 29. Oh, right there. I'll let you look at that. You can see. Here's where I cut the trace right there. So once you cut that trace, you do whatever way you want, cut that trace and sever that umbilical cord. And you're gonna wanna scrape away the solder mask. S gently scrape away the solder mask under the bare copper. All right, and then once you do that, what I do at least, I get a little bit of uh, solder flux. I put a little bit of solder flux on the bare copper and I tin that area. I get my soldering iron my, and some solder and put a little bit of, of solder on there so that's prepared. So that's the only modification you're going to do this radio. I mean, that, that's a beautiful thing about it. Everything is done externally. Uh, I see a lot of guys out there doing a tremendous amount of uh, modifications as a radio to get a little bit of uh, effect, a little bit of audio uh, to pass through. And that, that that's the only thing, that's the only modification. Cut that trace, that's it, you're done. In my next video, I'll tell you uh, how we're going to go about, uh, you know, getting our, getting our audio onto the radio and, and carrier uh, control. But uh, that's how we're going to start right there. All right, I'll be back with another video, and we'll, we'll go more into this. Hopefully, you'll come back and, and watch the next video.